Number 23. If a reaction produces 1.506 kilojoules of heat, which is trapped in 30.0 grams of water, initially at 26.5 degrees Celsius in a calorimeter, like that in figure 5.12, what is the resulting temperature of the water? Good question. So I basically put down the figure that they were looking for here. This is called a simple calorimeter. Basically, this calorimeter means that whatever you're mixing, the two components, chances are it's going to be water and something else, probably a metal. But whatever you're mixing, is uh, there's no heat lost. All heat is just being transferred from one thing to another. Now, do we really need this, this figure in here to answer this question? Absolutely not. So let's pay no mind to this, and let's just look at what, uh, what numbers they gave us and figure out a formula, right? So they give me heat, they give me a mass of the water. They're starting to talk about temps. So this is this formula, right? Q equals MS delta T. Now, the thing is, is that Q represents a heat value. So I would plug in the 1.506 kilojoules for Q, but remember, if I'm using this formula, Q has to be in joules. So the first thing I have to do is I just have to convert the 1.506 kilojoules into X amount of joules. How do I go from kilojoules to joules? I multiply by 1000. So a quick little conversion there. All you gotta do is just move the decimal over to the right three times and you get 1,506 joules. And that's the number that I put in my formula. So always convert first, guys, okay? The mass is next. They told me that it was 30 grams, so that's all taken care of. Now, they didn't tell me a specific heat, right? But they did tell me it was water. Technically, we are supposed to memorize this specific heat, and it's probably the only one that you have to memorize. So I'm just going to put it down here. The specific heat of water is, ooh, it might be like that, 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. So that's the number that's going over here for the S value, 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. And now this is what I'm solving for, right? Now remember, a delta T is always final temp minus initial temp, TF minus TI. They gave me the initial temp, but they didn't tell me what the final temp was, aka the resulting temp. So I'm secretly looking for this. So I can label this as X minus 26.5. And you're going to solve for this. So let's go for it. 1506 equals the 30 times 4.184 and then times x minus 26.5. Now, the math eh, gets a little tricky, but remember our algebra rules, guys, right? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply these two numbers together. So we got 1506 equals 30 times 4.184, so I get 125.52, and then x minus 26.5. Now I have two different things in parentheses, and then outside I have this number multiplied by this parenthesis. So this is distributing. You gotta distribute, right? Fun times. <laughs> So this is going to be 125.52x and then minus whatever 125.52 times 26.5. 3326.28. Solve for x. So I'm going to swoop this number over to the other side by a, you know, addition because this is subtraction. So I'm going to add this number on both sides. get rid of that. And maybe I will continue over here. So now I have that number. 
plus, whoop, hold on, this should be a an eight, right? Yeah, okay, so now I'm gonna go on to the left side. So that number plus 1506, and I get four, eight, three, two, point two, eight equals the 125.52x, solve for x, right? And maybe I'll put this in blue. We wanna solve for x, so divided by 125.52, do that on both sides, and then we come to our final answer. So that gets canceled out, and then x equals, let's see, 4832.28 divided by 125.52. And it looks like three sig figs. So we'll say 38.5, right? 38 point, yeah, 38.5 degrees Celsius because we were solving for the final temp, which is what we labeled as X. So this is basically your final temp, TF. The resulting temperature, the final temp was 38.5 degrees Celsius. And there you go. So guys, what'd you think? Just a simple equation, Q equals MS delta T. Plug it in, solve, and you're done, all right? Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And if you wanna tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool service or YouTube channel, that would, <laughs> I would really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, and let's keep working hard. I believe in you guys, all right? See you in the next lesson, bye-bye.